What is up guys, my name is Commenting and today I have for you guys a farming guide. Yes, that is right. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to plant seeds the best, the exact times of each growth, the exact food and water that the fruit gives you, and basically how to live self-sufficiently by just growing your own food. Now you might be noticing that I'm doing a lot of different food things like farming and fishing. That is right. A complete food guide is coming out soon. I'm just getting the little things out of the way. Then a complete food guide is coming out. But let's just get right into this. Right here, I have everything that you basically you need to farm. Let's just go off with the first two planters. We have a planter, then we have a plot. If you don't know, you can craft a planter with one birch plank and one fertilizer. To get a plank, all you need to do is cut down a tree, make a saw, which only takes two metal sheet. That is only four scrap metal. Very, very easy. Craft a log with the saw into a plank. It actually creates three planks. Also, what you can do is find four sticks from the ground of the tree, and you can just craft one plank with four sticks. That's also a way you can do it and then combine that plank with a fertilizer and you get a planter if you're wondering how you can make the fertilizer we'll talk about this more when we grow the seeds to make a fertilizer you just need one rope that is it just one single rope and you know how you make a rope just four cloth to make a big plot how big this plot is as you can tell it's pretty dang gigantic how you make this is with seven planters so that's all you need just to craft seven of these this is a planter that's a plot craft seven of these and you can make this beautiful thing and what these are useful for is so you can plant inside your base as you can see if i take a seed you can just plant it right in the grass right here with these plots you can also plant it on these crops because let's say this is your base over here you cannot place it it says missing soil because of course it needs soil to grow this is the soil you put soil basically in your base and you can grow these plants in your base being self-sufficient now you can find these seeds all over basically they spawn all the time in farms i can probably find one in here somewhere let's look around uh, maybe in here Yes, right here, there's actually one, a corn seed right there, beautiful. You can pick that up and you can plant it in your little planter and there you go. You just got a piece of corn. And there's probably some more in these farms or whatever, but you can find these seeds all over the place. Once you find the seeds, you can just place them. Of course, if you're using a planter or plot, try to use your space and try to plant as many seeds as you can. Of course, as you can see, I can plant all the way to the edge like this. You can fit a lot on here. Each seed has its own growing time. We're not gonna be talking about any of the berry seeds. We have seven main seeds right here. We have corn, lettuce, tomato, potato, wheat, and pumpkin. And you can find these times in the game files as well, but I just found them for you. And let's just say it kind of does take a while. Right here, this potato seed is going to take you three hours, also known as 10,800 seconds. Not only the potato seed, but the tomato seed, the lettuce seed, and the pumpkin seed is all going to take three hours of growing time. The corn and wheat are going to be three hours and 20 minutes. That's 12,000 seconds. So yes, it kind of does take a while while to grow but don't be scared to still plant because there's such things as fertilizer like i said fertilizer is not hard to get you find clothes all the time just going in here look at how much clothes i find look at all of this trust me i did not spawn any of this in i promise and you can get probably about at least eight cloth from this you can probably make about two to three fertilizers from all of this so i'm gonna start just planting all of this down now before I put fertilizer on these, I want to say one more thing. In your skills, go to support and you will see something known as agriculture. As you can see, it changes the harvest chance and the harvest speed. If you get this all the way up, which costs 280 experience, you have a 100% chance to get double your harvest. Meaning when I harvest one of these, I'll get two corn instead of one corn or whatever type of fruit, tomato, potato, anything. Also changes your harvest speed to plus 25%. Meaning let's just salvage this. When I place it down, it's going to automatically go to 25% and it only has 75% more to grow. Of course, you don't have to upgrade this all the way if you want. You can go with a 50% harvest chance and you have that coin flip of a chance to possibly double your your harvest and possibly not also have a little bit extra harvest speed like i said you don't need to max this out all the way but anyways i'm gonna put fertilizer on all of this and what it does is makes it easily harvestable right away instant growing with this fertilizer and like i said it only takes four cloth it's not hard to make just make it trust me it's really easy craft that four cloth into rope and make the fertilizer once this is all up as you can see i already have agriculture fully up so i'm gonna get two of everything and as you can see, I now have two corn, two wheat, two pumpkins, two lettuce, two tomatoes, and two carrots. And I didn't plant the potato. Sorry, potatoes.
And this is why it's a good idea to upgrade your agriculture because now I'm basically self-sufficient. I got two of each so I can turn one into a seed of each one. And from that, I can plant all of these again. And just like that, I'm fully planted once more and I have all of this fruit right here. I can just fully max out all of my food and water from this. Also, one thing I did not talk about yet, that corn did 20 food and 10 water. This carrot does 20 food and 10 water as well. This lettuce does 15 food and 15 water. The potato, RIP potato, actually does 20 food and 5 water. The pumpkin does 25 food and only 10 water. The tomato does 20 food and 15 water. And the wheat does 20 food but no water at all. If you need to learn anything in this episode, that is that farming is very, very underrated. No one seems to farm really. And I mean, you really should, even if you're looting a farm and let's see up here and boom. Oh, look at this. I found a potato seed. And just like that, let's pick up these clothings. And just like that, let's salvage this clothes. And there we go. Just like that, we got four cloth. We make a rope. And just from that rope, we can find the fertilizer. Now I have fertilizer. And from this seed, let's just plant it. I already have that fertilizer so I can instantly grow that harvest it and go on with whatever i was doing and from that farm i just got a potato actually two potatoes because my agriculture skill is up and that potato is going to give you 20 food and five water pretty pretty good on your food and you don't really have to worry about food as much anymore but i mean another good way is to just put a plot or a planter inside your base and just farm for days make yourself self-sufficient you technically don't even have to leave your base you're growing your own food you don't have to ever look for food again and just like that you will never have to worry about water or food ever again anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video on farming hopefully it made you guys realize how good farming actually is and how underrated it really is make sure to like the video if you enjoy subscribe if you are new and like i said that food guide is coming soon i just have a few more different little topics of food to talk about then that complete food guide is on the way anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video my name is commenting and i'm out of here see you guys Later.